Hi, today I would like to show you how you can import TXF file as a plate in Idea Statica connection model. My name is Ivan Beleš and I'm support engineer for SCIA and Idea Statica. Now we are in Idea Statica. I have already opened a model and you see in the background, this is this gusset plate, which we will import. Some of this plate can be also created in Idea Statica. You can create a rectangular or circular plate, use the editor, adapt the corners and so on, create openings, but it is of course limited. This is not a CAD software. Therefore, there is a possibility that you can import a DXF file where you have already created your geometry. So we will go to another connection. Ah, I will copy this connection and delete all operations. Now we are in one empty connection. In this connection, I have already adapted the members. So I will go back with the members to standard one, standard model type. Okay. Now we want to import this DXF file. We have operations. This is this stiffening plate. And in stiffening plate, you have different shape positions. We have rectangular circle, which you can define with the parameters. And we have also polygon. You can click on this DXF, then you can locate your file and open it. If you draw this uh, DXF, maybe a small tips, you can export Idea Statica or you can upload your Idea Statica model to the viewer, which is for free. It's on internet. And from this viewer, you can download a 3D DWG file. And it's possible to create sections. And if you have sections, you can add there your plate in a CAD software. If you create this shape in your CAD program, you have different possibilities. So first, you can draw simple, simple lines. These are complete separate lines. You can in your CAD software already close your lines to a polyline, which is for me the best option how to work with it. But you can also have some creepy geometry and you see this is this is not really good connected. So we will deal with all of this plate. So pen is uh, with the uh, middle mouse button with the, if you push the wheel and zoom is standard like in all programs. So how, what you can do, uh, you can change the origin. You see, I have the XF origin and this is my zero point from the CAD program. This is the best way how you can import it, draw it on the correct position. If you draw it somewhere in your space, then you have to move it also because it, it will be imported with this point as uh, origin point in Idea Statica, you have to move it or you can change. You can say, I want to work with center of gravity, which is also some of some point and you have then try to move the plate into, into the right position. So therefore I have moved the plate into this position. Now what you can do is first you can click one line with the, I don't know it with alt, no. It works with Alt. Uh, this is on the German keyboard. It's a right Alt. I don't know if it is working on the English keyboard with the left Alt behind the space or near the space. So, and you can click on these lines. And if all these lines are selected, you can click on Outline. Then you get your geometry and that's all. You can clear it. I click on this one. You can also push the control button and make a window. You can do the same with escape. It's possible to deselect with alt. You can do the same. I think if you know only only uh, with with mouse and and drag the mouse through the uh, geometry is not possible. So control or alt, you can select everything 
and then you, with outline you get the geometry. What you can also do is to select one line and if it is correctly closed, then click on this consecutive and then you get your geometry also. So this three ways, ways uh, single clicking of each line with control or alt, with control alt also create a window or go to the consecutive. Then you get to OK and you get the geometry. Now we have only to rotate it, try 90 degree, oh, zero. Aha, the, this is the origin, is joint. I would like to have it on the bottom of the bottom flange of member 2. So therefore I go to the member, I select the member 2 and this should be the bottom flange. Is a rib, that's okay. Should be in front, this is okay, it's sitting in the front, you see it, this is this, this line, this is the front line and we have simply to rotate it. I try 90 degree. 90 degrees is not so bad. We will deactivate the welds to know where is the position line and simply rotate around 180 degrees. That's okay. So the geometry is there. It's sitting in the middle of the member. This is also okay. These members are not correctly placed, but this is not our issue. This will be defined. So we have to weld it, this plate. We have to go to double field weld. And now we have to connect all these members, one, three, and four, to this gusset plate. So, and therefore, I use right mouse button, gusset plate as operation. And usually the gusset plate should go, so we, we want to connect member one, this is this small one, with the member two, this is okay, but it shows connected to new plate. I don't want to create a new plate, I have already my plate. So I go to existing plate. This is a very good option because if you go to the new plate, then this plate will be positioned according to your member which you want to connect so the plate will be moved but if you have already one plate quieter if you have already the plate then the member will be moved so we go to existing plate sp1 and you see our member is correctly moved onto the plate so we will change it from welded to bolted this is an, I have imported some, some template uh, for these members uh, and this was according to US code, so, but it's okay, maybe you are working in US. So we change the position of the bolt and leave only one bolt, that's okay. And you see it's correctly placed. The member is moved to sit on the plate. and. We can copy it and do the same with member three and do the same. Oh, no, <laughs> member two, and we want to connect member, member three to member two. That's okay. Don't know if it's possible to say also member four. Member, it's possible. Member four, no, this is not working. So we have to create a new one and connect member four. So that's all. We cannot calculate it at the moment because these diagonals are connected only with one bolt. So this is a kinematic structure. We have to fix these diagonals somehow in the place. So either you use two bolts or you adapt the supports. So we will adapt the supports with member one. We change the model type to N, B, Y and V, Z, this is a truss beam, so you see there are new supports added. So we do the same with member three and member four, and now it can be calculated. Run the calculation. That's all, it's very simple. I didn't explain the one, sorry. <laughs> so, okay, it's calculated. Now we can go back to the plate. We can check the plastic strain, mesh and deform, whatever you want. Um, I go back to the design 
to this cassette plate, so I forgot to explain this to another uh, possibilities. So this is already connected polyline and if you have some gaps then you can change this tolerance. For example, this is, I think it's millimeter, let's say 0 0.5. Oh, it's working. Ah, 5. 3, 2. Z ah, this must be 0 0.1. Deselect this one. It's not working. So you see, you have to check 0 0.1, 0 0.5. The select no two millimeters not five okay five millimeter I don't know how big is this gap and then it will be created I don't know what is idea statica doing some of these lines will be moved of course so that is if you get some uh, not correct geometry okay I hope it's clear, it's a short tutorial for you. Thank you very much for watching.